didn't touch us. We went too hot to handle. We may get into your throat along the line. Mm. Oh boy. New Patriotic Party is issued directives to all 10 aspirants for the flag bearer uh, position of the upgrade party. Now, let's get a political science perspective to these directives, how the campaigns have been waged and what could possibly happen before the 4th of November. Ahead of that, a special delegates conference and how the road would look like in choosing one of the ten to represent the new patriotic party in that crucial 2024 elections. Dr. Sasanti is a political science lecturer at the University of Ghana. He joins us on the phone line. Prof, good morning. Thank you so much for your time. How are you doing? Good morning, Johnny. I'm good. And yourself? I am greater than Accra, Prof. Great, great. Good to hear that. Prof, I know that it is your duty to be monitoring uh, these things on the political landscape because it is also your job to teach it in school to students of political science. What, what have you been learning and, and observing uh, coming on the front of the NPP? Take us into your classroom. Yeah. Um, if you look at it, um, as you know about elections, there are three phases the pre-election phase, the election phase, and the post-election phase. Um, what we are witnessing now is the pre-election phase. Uh, you see the, the, all the, the, the jostling, all the, the noise, uh, and in all this, we are seeing campaign being run. Um, one would have thought that we will have a um, decent campaign uh, but events have turned a different thing that today uh, they are at each other's throat some of the people who are contesting mm. yes that has really pushed the campaign um, uh, to uh, the heights that uh, uh, is not uh, uh, worth commending uh, we also expect the Council of State, the Council of uh, Elders, to put their foot down. But that has uh, been nothing but what the rhetoric that mm. yet there is an ethic committee right. in place, right. and um, they are about uh, either they have started work or they are about to. We haven't seen that, and so uh, the, the the heckling continues. Mm. Um, in such contest, right. we expect nothing but messages that resonate with the people, message uh, that also uh, deal with the problems of the party, and then messages that also look at the bigger picture of the country in terms of our problems and solutions thereof. Now, the party has issued a directive asking aspirants to campaign on issues, not to be throwing mud at others, as you have mentioned earlier and so on and so forth, and also to restrain their signs and also to impress upon their supporters to do a clean campaign. Given the events that have happened before now, <clears throat> is it not going to work because people would want to respond to others who have cast a slay on their, on their campaign and their personalities? Yeah, if they are able to put their ethics committee in place and uh, all members are alive, uh, to the existence of that committee, then the, 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 the committee should work. Other than that, uh, mere rhetoric or statement will not stop anybody because, um, as it were, violence becomes violence. If right. you attack me, I will definitely respond with equal measure. Uh -huh. And that is going to be the situation. But I believe that this is a party uh, that is one of the biggest in this country. And they would not want anything on top uh, to happen to a process leading to uh, something that they are yearning for. Now, this will be the um, right, right thing to do 
But given the fact that the stakes are high, they are looking at meeting sometime in August to trim down the number from 10 to 5. Will this be a walk in the park for the NPP? Um, it's not an easy uh, process, but what can they do? They have to go through the process, uh, irrespective of the challenges that are ahead. Uh, they have to and get somebody who would appeal to Ghanaians for them to be able to work the magic that they believe will happen of what breaking the eight. And, and the breaking the eight seems to be the mantra on the lips of all the ten. But the concern of the party also is how they will be able to hold each other together, have a unified front after the primaries have been done and dusted with. It does appear that now most of the candidates are running on the line of ethnicity. They are running on the line of regional factionalism. And they are also running on the line of who failed, who didn't fail, and what an individual brought into the fray. How would this help the party to unite or be disintegrated after the November 4 primaries? That is why I have said already, in which I want to repeat, and that the committee must hit the ground running, if there exists any. It must hit the ground running, so that they will put their foot down, uh, set the ground rules, and then monitor and sanction where necessary. If they fail this, then we are going to have the other one you are talking about, where everybody uh, will be at each other's throat, and that will not uh, bode well uh, for them. But, uh, you know, when you campaign uh, based on attacks, mm -hmm. when you you character assassinate people, right. when you undermine people just not on the basis of, uh, you know, important messages, I'm afraid, it tells us that uh, you don't have message. It tells us that uh, you have nothing under your sleeves. And let them remember that all that is happening, Ghanaians are alive to it. So it's not as if that uh, because it's an internal contest, uh, we are, uh, you know, far away from it. We are very close to it, and we are monitoring it, mm. and we are taking political notice of their actions and inaction. So it is incumbent upon them uh, to do a good job by what? Coming out with what? Uh, messages, messages that resonate with the people within the party and outside the party. Uh, on this call, mm -hmm. uh, I always say three, th three or four things come to mind. Which are? Mm -hmm. RSM, what I call RSM, okay. resources. You need resources, mm -hmm. both human and material, to be able to manage the campaign very well. Uh, two, you need uh, strategy strategy that will elicit the type of res responses that you want from voters and strategy uh, that will help you to what advance your cause forcefully mm. uh, apart from that you need messages which i've already touched on that resonate with the people messages that give hope uh to the nook and cranny uh, of the members of the party and uh, messages that also uh, uh extend hope to those outside the political party. And uh, you also need uh, a certain, uh, you know, uh, type of what? Uh, messages also uh, that uh, help us uh, to unite as a state. Because, you no, know, anytime we go through elections, uh, you realize that there are differences that exist. And these have gone through the years. Mm -hmm. uh, Obviously, not everybody uh, was, you know, happy with what transpired. Right. They are trying right. to mend their differences. Mm. MPP is also doing the same. So, at the end of the day, we need somebody who, at the end of every, the, the whole process, will be able to what, bring all, us, all of us together and forge ahead to build a better Ghana. So, this is the kind of person the NPP needs, and they need to be sober. They need to reflect on all the things that are, you know, happening in this country and mm -hmm. see mm. whether they will be able to what, 
select a candidate with his sort for this type of exercise. Doc, there's also the conversation about money and how uh, you also mentioned the fact that the messages are resonating with the people, the, the supporters of these candidates. It does appear that money has taken center stage, but also that will be the reason they will congregate to hear these messages. And once they hear these messages, um, they will carry along these messages and take a certain action, if you will. Now, there's money and there are the messages, resources and the messages. But the strategy in the middle is missing. Uh, how can they reverse the trend and uh, make make a headway? Yeah, you don't need... Uh, money is uh, critical in mobilizing people and all that. But it does not necessarily translate into vote for you. Otherwise, we are saying that any time we go for elections and there are rich people amongst us, they mm. will win the election. Mm. Has it been the case? No. Not exactly. Mm. We saw uh, the recent example from Asin uh is something that uh, should be a learning curve for all of us. Mm. Uh, monies were, you know, thrown out to voters. Uh, they collected them, and then they vote uh, their conscience, according to their conscience. And so uh, that's the issue. And so is what issue of ethnicity. Research has shown that there are a number of factors that influence voter choices. Mm. The first one being the economy. Right. The second one, infrastructure, uh, you know, development. The third one, issue of corruption, uh, rule of law, issue of uh, relating to the health, agri, mm -hmm. and the rest of them. But one of them, getting to what, if you rank them, around nine or ten is the issue of what, ethnicity, where people play the ethnic card. But... If you read the literature, yes, it is emphatic in the literature mm -hmm. that, look, people who play the ethnic card do not win at all. They do not win at all. Mm -hmm. It is true that, yes, one or two people will follow you based on that. Right. But it does not give you uh, the, the, the lead because uh, the same argument that I made for uh, issue of what? Money mm -hmm. is what I'm going to make here. If that is anything to go by, that is the et ethnicity or playing of the ethnic card, then Akans will win elections every time there is a contest. Because Akans are, that can constitute the largest ethnic group in Ghana. Right. But is it true? 1992 election, we saw Rollins and Ever winning. Uh, we saw Rollins repeating the dues in 96. Of course, Kufo coming in as an Akan, uh, followed by uh, for some else, as an account. John Mahama and uh, Nodma has come in. So you realize that, <coughs> I'm sorry, sorry about ethnicity that. is not necessarily a card that you want to uh, consider. It doesn't but, win anybody vote. But that it ethnicity is, card is being played now. If you listen to the campaign of Dr. Baumia, for example, he particularly has not said that. But his assigns and agents, the people who feel connected to him and in support of him, say it's now time for the Dumbo faction of the party to be given an opportunity to lead. That has gone to bring the reigns of the late Aliu Mahama and all of that and the fact that the people from the north are always kept at the number two position, especially within the NPP. That is something to think about, no? Uh, th even that statement is a wrong ab issue. If you look at the political history of Ghana, <laughs> those who are saying that, mm. I'm surprised that uh, those who know the political terrain and political history of this country are not challenging that within the party and they're allowing it to slide. You know, the Dankwa Dumbo Guzia tradition mm. that they are talking about. Right. And that it is a turn of the Dumbo. I disagree vehemently. What am I, what am I saying? Tell me that? that. Tell me why. If you look at uh, 19. Uh, uh, 51, 54, 56 election, all right, especially 54, we had parties that were built al along regionalist lines, ethnic lines, and, uh, you know, other lines. Uh, one of the, 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 the ethnic parties around that time uh, was the, uh, you know, uh, Gans Shifumokwe, Gans Tafas Party, and then we had other ones such as what, Anglo Youth Organization, the Tugulan Congress, and all these were ethnic what parties. 
right? And then we had regionalist parties such as what? The Northern People's World Party, whose aim was to ensure the rich culture of the North being uh, preserved at all times. All right. The Anglo Youth Organization were interested in what? Uh, the people who are Anglos, nothing more, nothing else. We had a, re a religious party called the Muslims Association Party, which was interested in Muslims and people living in Zongo. So all these things did you not know, bode well for politics around that time. So, and then, uh, you know, a few months after the 54 election, NLM was born, another tribalist party. Mm. That also pushed Ghana's independence uh, backward uh, to 1956. Otherwise, Ghana would have gained independence around 1954, after the 54 election. But uh, as NLM came in, the elections were pushed to 1956, and then another contest was organized and the CPP won and won massively. And Kuruma saw that, that the country was being divided along regionalist lines, ethnic lines, and religious lines. So after gaining power in, you know, after gaining independence in 58, mm. he passed a law, the Avoidance of Discrimination Act, all right. where all political parties were proscribed except the CPP. So all the parties that I have mentioned, the ethnic and the regionalist and the religious parties came together and formed what? The UP, the United Party. So, if we are saying that this party is an offspring of the UP and that you are now going to settle for Dumbo, uh, which was a la uh, the, the, Northern, the, the, the Northern People's Party what one of their members, then you are saying that you are leaving groups such as what the Anglo Youth Organization, mm -hmm. where, where when would it would be their turn to also have a say in the political affairs of the MPP? What about the Togoland Congress? What about the Gashifu Mokwe? What about the Muslims Association Party and the rest of them? So what they are doing is what discriminatory in nature, all right? Because the UP was amalgamation of uh, these political parties. So why are you taking only the Northern People's Party and then representing it as part of what the three main groups within, uh, you know, the, the UP tradition? Let us remember that even 54 elections, Buzia won only one seat. And that, for the fact that he was a great scholar and all that, he wouldn't have been the leader. But the Northern People's Party allowed him that, yes, be our leader, and then speak for the party and all that. So why are you saying that the groups, the other ones, you don't want to recognize that? That position is wrong at the issue, and that that cause will not help them. Because it, it dovetails into nothing but what? Other regionalist, uh, you know, uh, argument or ethnic argument or uh, even, uh, you know, religious argument, which we don't want. In wrapping up, the party in that uh, press release by the National Council says that if the presidential candidates or any of them is found to have fallen foul of the directive that have been issued, they risk being disqualified from the race. Is that enough to deter anybody from going ahead with the campaigns we have seen in the past? It is an important institutional uh, statement that has been released. All right. My hope and prayer is that whoever crosses the line, they will be able to crack the whip and then whip him to line. But if they are going to what, pay lip service to it, I'm afraid this statement will be a mere statement and it will not mean anything. Dr. Kwame Asasante, I thank you very much indeed for your time. We're grateful. Thank you, John. And thanks for Have taking us day. into your classroom. We're grateful. <laughs> Dr. Asasante is a political science lecturer at the University of Ghana, Lagan, and uh, he joined us here this morning on the uh, 3FM Sunrise Morning Show. He is a pastor in the Shanti region. Listen to him. <laughs> I bear from quantum points, cocoa room, room, and I share a computer. So, yeah, I'm not kind of goggle and yeah, goggle and Google. Check your shabba, um, yeah, no one summer war. The other kind or true for number one. The number one liar, king of all lies, lies. When you say so, you pay two kind of babia or cobabia. Gun, I cry on some trough for a more. So be banana and a babbit, Nancy, now in a dinkoma.
Udi kan hwehwem ne ho nsem kakra ne wogina so eden e de abisa na sem na akwakwa to aba ma obi a so meye o medi eku ani mu a mi o mampen na sem de ho fa ntun chek obedi eku ani mu a se se mu yi ni so e fagbera ba bi o be ko bia no first question be sense ah but why in your country you are known as a liar o ma mu no ye se o won ka no kure that is the first question this is the only papier when before chairman sabons go when you want it that's why i'm for say so i'm in the country so i'm in the country say any boom yeah honey but i'm a boom yeah as a man on oh yeah chance you know and what boy go the entire me man MTV party ma ba umiya the every say kwa ya wa fast wo gusu a samre no o say gan e sika kaka o ko ba biya no a na kwa 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 yes I say buy a buy na ba mpe nufu na ba in kana biya no e nunti na ba say me kama man forty as yes say mo mu so ba umiya so tada biya ungo tia yes say and the before mo yes say enye party no eh no mu sisi sisi mufu. And a paper for no my ya Yakoya, as we pepper need the Uncle Koya, and the same running mate. Sa as of no more canon, Miss A dead on a rubber, still bed. Patia, Gana, and him empty Piku. Pa air warn Nipa, a man your castle, Nipa, I teach you, I will Gana. Mafra mafra nipa wamu a NPP party amwa wamu crashi si wamu a osen ku wamu kasa kasa yempene e yen gan dan gufu onkrefo me me nye software me kadi yeminimu onkrefo pepe fo mo yeka gan ha ba kungwa de manfa manfa enu anshi. But the back has said more. Liman, am I president? No, I'm not a president. No, I'm free slave. But the name of the people is not a man. It's a script. It's a name. Man, people in America. Ali Umahama, am I vice president? Two times, eight years. People in your free slave. Saransu, ena, baumia, says seven years ni. When your vice president to me, you are the PNP. Any president to back on. Born crazy, baby. Then crazy for NPP party, no. UP party, no. Me catch it all. One more break, pop, 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 pop. What you have come here, dear? What you have been telling me, dear? What is your history? Come on, move fast, so I pass you by. Si kani adam muto yeyi na. Then crazy, baby. And this will be the casa. So party, no. Eh, can you be sure? Can you make God then bring your phone in casa? Then can you assume for? Can you come and unto me? What do you say? The nipano ni midi an casa ni midi. Me where they me pray pray hu me pray pray hu fa ba umi hu. No wa njia no be koswa in next press conference you know press conference na me yelo. But ba umi hu se ma me kachiro. What? No, no, what can I say? I'm your president. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, you know, you say, oh, baba, baba, yeah, oh, my penny. Ghana, ha, Ghana, ha, I dear back one, Ghana, ha, a handy pack, see what happened. Hey, school, school, sir. What's the TV? One hour, share. I'm quite a part of you. Oh, cool, school, I, oh, cool, right, classroom, or you share a boy, a boy, a boy, a boy, one thing. What you call the a boy to one, what, not so. A binum, a miasi, one in Grand Castle, but we are not what you are going to read, no Mujani. Then you are changing an animal. You better be no fruit, what the form to you. You are going to be a person, you are going to be a woman, you are going to be a woman, you are going to be a laptop. You see? How? You are going to be a woman. Vision, no, yet, or form. 
Tibonia, poor Babitina. Make and Ned, Namukoko, Ma, or Mutu, a chicken answer. Woman, ya no bayo. Your drum, your drum, Sanoa. Next press conference, you know. And some will hope. Into your foot, you are made more money than a set. They should sit you down. One moon flower, Bamia, Miss Asa, Bamia, Papa, said, Was he can't sell no. Did you are? Non Casantremo, a muncasso. No one, dear, now so messiah caught. Nasa said, Gan as he carried the debomia to Sanidia, made a mecca. And tea, oh, debomia to my two mofo. Oh, my bow, my own penny baby in tina. Only when you are chance, you know. I can send way in a young camber. Sasa no men can in it. Now, me can't be a better view by a shock. Sana Bumiati, the Mecasso. Aha. So one sire, no Mecosua, Mecca.